So here's a big surprise everyone's been waiting for, or not really waiting for, but which is great news because everybody was hoping and no one was actually trying. I'm not telling anybody anything yet, so you're just going to have to bear with me until you see it in action for yourself. And it's not, it's ordinary, but it's out of the ordinary. We'll just put it that way for now. Wait for the bootloader. Sometimes bootloader can take a while. That's what I hate sometimes. By the way, this is a HD2 and it has Windows Mobile, Ubuntu, and Android Sense uh, Honeycomb, I believe, or Gingerbread, whatever, one of those. 2.3.5 whatever version that is all right you see it booting the windows mobile screen now you see it booting hard and here it goes picking up Alright, got past the BIOS screen, now we're at the loader, or the flash screen. In a second you'll see the Android guy jumping around. Which I'd be jumping around too at this news. <laughs> so... Okay, here he is. A bit slow and start it. Give it a second. Oh, and by the way, this is a MCCM Box Max GS, I want to say, or 3D. Let's look for MCCM Box Max all one all together. Then a 3D Smooth, and you'll find it. I like the uh, Android Sense versions a lot more than just the regular Androids because you don't have to do anything to them to customize them and make them beautiful. And HTC already does a good job at that already. Alright, gotta go get that out of the way. I said to wait a while for like wait one or two minutes because the startup on this one is slow which I could understand loading sense and everything okay now it's loaded well kind of but I'm not concerned about the display what it looks like I'm concerned about showing you what it's holding go down to all settings okay there you go I wasn't Enough. Okay, now go to SD storage. As you can see, kinda. Sorry about the resolution, this is a pretty cruddy card. Alright, well, now let's try and show you, get a better look at it. Oh, well, anything, this is a, not card, I meant, but camera. <laughs> but that's what I was talking about, it's the card. Okay. Well, anyways, it's a 64 gigabyte micro SD XC. And so I'm fixing to show you and prove it to you. I'll run the computer. 
All right, here's the phone. What what the heck? Oh, okay. I was going to say, why is it booting in? Going into the boot letter again when I power it off. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Okay, there you go. There's the HD2 still. There's the card. And so now I'll put it in my flash stick. Pop it into the computer. All right, there we go. Log in. Okay. Show you that this actually is a real sixty four gigabyte card. Drive F. There's all the files or drive what the drive H removable disk oh. oh I'll just open it there's all the files see right there's Android okay and what is got the properties Well, if I open it the right way, okay, there it goes. Whoops. Well, you can make out a four, kind of, or a four and a six, because I got 16 gigabytes of space used, and the pink is uh, 42 gigabyte space left but here you go I'll show you also another way to tell that that's real if you can actually make it out <laughs> okay go back to removable H there you see it dropping down go to format and if you look there well right here It tries to format it to either NTSF or NTFS, <laughs> how did the sex at moment, or EXFRAT, which is the default format for micro SD extreme capacity XC cards. You can kind of make out the lowercase EX and then see the FRAT. But here's the tick trick. <laughs> All right. When you want to do this, don't format it normally through a through a regular uh, like through SD formatter or whatever. Format it through Mini Tool Partition Wizard Home Edition. And the main big thing to do is okay. There it is. When you do it, you know go to create which is right there and I'm not gonna do it because I already got everything on there but what you want to do is it'll give you the option to format it to FAT32 which we all know that the trick of Android getting to pick up a XC card is letting it force format it into FAT32 and also in which it'll pick up a Windows Mobile device also that way so when you do that also be sure to remember to change it to, from primary uh, from logical to primary otherwise the SD card will say it's not formatable or it's not mounted damaged when you uh, load Android so be sure to do those two, those two things and well there you have it
uh, HTC, HD2, Windows Mobile 6.5, Dual Boot, Android SD on a 64 GB card. I guess I was the first one, maybe. Maybe I'll be the first one to do the 128 GB SCXD. Or someone else might beat me to it. But there you have it. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.